I have a very fun video ahead for you guys, but super quickly before we get started, I have a special announcement. As you guys can see, I am currently wearing our Sisters Apparel Cafe collection, which I am very, very excited to tell you guys is going to be restocked for this year's Black Friday sale on sisters-apparel.com. They launched about a month ago now, and I could not thank you guys enough for the amount of love and support we received on the collection. They sold out in just over a day, and the reviews are in, and they were officially a massive, massive hit. They come in five different colors and are all inspired by our favorite cups of coffee. We have vanilla latte, caramel frappe, pumpkin spice, cold brew, and I am wearing black coffee today. They were originally $69, but we really wanted to do something special for you guys for the holiday season. So on this launch, they'll be only $49. Our sale is gonna start on Thursday night, so November 25th at 5 p.m. PST. So make sure you guys set your alarms, mark your calendars, because this sale will only be going on until they're gone. Hi sisters, James Charles here, and today I need my nails done. Give a little zoom in on these babies. If you don't like me, that's fine. I don't expect everybody to have good taste. You guys, I have had these nails on my fingers now for almost a month and a half straight, and it is time for a new set because these are old, crusted, dusted, and very, very outgrown. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I always have my nails done, but usually it's a pretty simplistic design. I love a good white nail, a good nude nail, sometimes a little pop of color, but overall, my nail designs are usually pretty boring, and today, I really wanted to spice it up a little bit. So that's why today, I thought it would be a ton of fun to reach out to 10 different friends and ask them to each design a different nail for me. Oh, hey. Okay, you guys, I am so beyond nervous that it's not even funny for this video. My friends have all sent back the videos of the designs they want me to get, but I've actually not watched any of them yet. This is going to be a huge surprise for me. You guys will see the setup in the studio in a couple of seconds, but I am literally going to have no idea what my nail artist is putting on my fingers until the very, very last second. So that being said, you guys, before I'm sitting in the nail chair for the next roughly 12 hours, please make sure you guys go down right below and give this video a big thumbs up to show your love and support because this could end in an absolute disaster. All right, you guys, let's head on over to the salon and get started. All right, you guys, so of course the different friends that I texted are kind of like the creative director of my nails for this video, but the real artist that is going to be actually doing all the beautiful work on my nails is none other than the iconic Chon Legend. If you guys have seen our Worrying the World's Longest Nails for a Day, you'd be familiar with Chon, but he's the man, the myth, the legend himself. What's up? And you guys, Chon's been doing my nails for probably about two years now, I would yeah, say, and he is a nail artist of the stars. Do a little humble brag. Who do you work on? Um, I just recently worked on Rihanna. You did? Yeah, Rihanna. What are you doing? Yeah, and Rihanna, oh my God. Kylie Jenner, Khloe Kardashian, um, Cardi B, so. and of course James Charles. And <laughs> okay, so the, reason, the reason why I love Chon is because it's really easy to find good nail artists, but it's really hard to find great nail artists. And the reason why I love Chon is because he's always on time, he's so professional, but most importantly, he can literally do any design that I've ever asked for, and that is exactly why I thought he'd be the perfect fit for today's video, because the design might be crazy. So okay. as you guys can see right here, we have our full little setup going on. Chon will be working as normal with gorgeous lighting. You guys will get to see some, you know, behind the scenes close-up action of his beautiful artistry. I'll be unfortunately sitting behind here for, I would say, at least five or six hours, huh? At, at least. Uh, <laughs> at least. This is not gonna be the most fun, but I have my iPad to watch some Netflix or some YouTube videos and stuff. I guess with that being said, I think we're all set up and ready to go. Right, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. you have to get out. Let's we gotta it. show Tom some of these videos. <laughs> The first person that I really wanted to text for this video is Avani. She's one of the most artistic and creative people that I know. She's an amazing makeup artist, but also always has a crazy nail set on. So I figured if anybody's gonna be able to give me some good nail inspiration, it will be her. The camera's over here. Good morning. I was gonna get ready for this video, but then I fell asleep. So just gonna have to look like this. I want you to do regular cheetah print in the background, but then coming from like the bottom up, I want it to be a purple and pink flame oh okay, okay. Nice. all right trendy cute yeah that's good okay you feel good okay i'm very confident now all right cool Beautiful. 
feels like something is being done. It's done. <laughs> Nail one is complete. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. I can't see ever. Can Beautiful. you see it in there? I like it. So I guess now that nail number one is complete, let's move on to nail number two. So the next person that I really, really wanted to text was Abby Roberts, an insanely talented makeup artist from the UK. I followed Abby a couple of years ago when she was first getting started into the beauty community, and now years later, she is an absolute superstar over on TikTok and is by far one of the most talented artists I know. So I figured she'd be the perfect person to pick out a very creative design for me. Hi, James. Um, okay, so for my nail, I want you to do something with spikes, like 3D spikes on it. And I want you to make it red because she got red hair. And maybe like jewelry, you know when they like pierce the nail and put like a dangly thing in it? You said no limitations, so oh. I'm not gonna make it easy for you. That's what I want. <laughs> oh, wow. Do you wanna explain how you're doing that? Yeah, like, so it's this little piercing tool. It looks, it's, it's kind of like a, like a screwdriver. Okay. And then I'm just gonna pick a spot that I'm gonna start screwing the hole in, mm -hmm. applying a little bit of pressure as I'm screwing it in. That's a good sound. Yeah. It's a well. I'm actually, if you have a veneer, I can fix it, patch it up for you. Wow. <laughs> Applying that right onto the little hoop. Right into the hoop. Okay. I would want all 10 of my nails like that. Holy uh, crap. That's mm -hmm. insane. I feel something dangling from there. Oh my god, this is gonna kill wow. me. So one person that doesn't really know a lot about nails, but I'm still confident can give me a really fun design is Brent Rivera. He's amazing. I was actually in his Squid Game video and he was in mine. So if you've not checked those out, make sure you guys go watch those videos as well. But even though Brent doesn't wear nails, he does do photo shoots and like cosplays all the time, which I think is very, very cool. So I figured he would still have a really good idea of how I can make my nails stand out. Hey guys, it's Brent Rivera. And I think James should get the Gryffindor crest from Harry Potter. It would look pretty good on one of your nails, I feel like. Like, holy crap. <laughs> What the hell? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh. That looks pretty, pretty bad. So good. Yeah, it's so like nice and detailed. You fell asleep, girl. Done. Holy. Oh, okay, so I fell asleep once. We've already finished one episode of Drag Race, one episode of my other show. We're on the second episode of Drag Race. Another artist that I really wanted to text was BB Brexa. I met BB a couple of months ago and we have become really, really close friends. I am just obsessed with her. She is so nice and so talented as well. And she always has her nails done. She's always doing different music videos or different photo shoots. I know it's always changing them up. So I figured she would have a really cool idea of how I can wear some fun nails. Hi, my love. Okay, so my thing that I want for you uh, for your nail design is I want a 3D nose, a 3D nose, and I want hair coming out of the nostrils. She said, wait, 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 wait. And I want hair coming out of the nostrils. <laughs> oh. Don't kill me, but I love you. Okay. A literal you nose. Can you come up with something like that? I think so. Okay. Okay. Should I call my job? Should I call my job? Should I call my job? Should I? That is just yeah. sick. Yeah. No shot. For the next nail, I really wanted to text one of my favorite people right now, Markel Washington. If you're not familiar with who he is, he is a big TikToker. He is known for being an incredible dancer and overall just a bad bitch. I am literally obsessed with him. Uh, but he does not usually have his nails done. However, for Halloween this year, he went as Megan Thee Stallion and got his acrylics for the first time ever and he was living for them. So I figured he might have a little bit of insight into how I can do my nails this week. Okay, James, for your nails, I want you to do a Powder Puff Girls theme. And since blue is my favorite color, I would like you to do bubbles. Um, Draw bubbles and incorporate all type of blue stuff on that nail. Let's see what you can do. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is this is a nice wide canvas <laughs> to, <laughs> to draw. I mean, it's mildly offensive. Yeah. 
Everyone's been ooing and aahing at this one. I'm so curious to see what the heck this one was. Does this mean one hand is officially completely done? Officially. If we look at my phone, it is currently 9.16 p.m. Tom got here at 3 p.m. today. We got started around 4 because we had to get the video started and everything. So we've been officially doing nails for five hours now and we finished five fingers. And I think at this point I'm gonna lose access to my hand. I need to put a glove on so I can't see it. So I better put on a movie because I'm not gonna be able to do anything. Maybe Madagascar. It's a good movie. I want to be careful. I don't want to. Attend. I don't even know what finger is where. <laughs> like, where did it go? So, one person that I really wanted to ask to pick a nail for me is Lil Yanni. This might sound very, very random, but I met him a couple of months ago and he was so freaking nice. And if you guys are not familiar with who he is, he is an extremely famous rapper. But the reason why I wanted to ask him to pick a nail for me is because he actually paints his own nails, which I think is really, really cool to break that boundary, especially in the rap community. He actually partnered with his own nail company a couple of months ago called Crete. So, I figured he'd be the perfect person to design a crazy nail for me. Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? Yachty here. My nail choice is camouflage. Once you do camouflage, any kind, like that right there. Yeah. Give me something like that. Let's see it. Oh, okay. Done? Done. Oh my god, that was so much faster than all the other ones. <laughs> wow, okay. Let's go on to nail number seven. There was not a doubt in my mind. As soon as I knew I wanted to do this video, one of the first people that I knew I had to text was my queen, Nikki Tutorials. If you're not familiar with who Nikki is, first of all, get out from under the rock that you're living under. She's an incredible makeup artist that has paved the way for so many people, including myself. I absolutely love her. And she's also known for always having beautiful nails on her fingers. A crazy nail design? Of course I got you. You may or may not have seen a special video in the beginning of 2020 where this random blonde girl came out of the closet as transgender. It's me! So for one of your nails, I would love to see the progress pride flag, but not just the colors. I want to see it come to life. I want texture. I want curves. I want it all. Okay, go back. Okay, Miss Nikki. <laughs> All right, you guys, so for the next nail, I really wanted to reach out to the Mian twins. If you're not familiar with Azra and Aisha, they are two of the most beautiful girls that I've ever met, and they are stars over on TikTok. They are always glamorous, they always have their nails done, and I figured two minds are definitely better than one, so let's see what they come up with. Hey James, this is the Mian twins, and for your nail from us, our design is kind of symbolizing a lot of our merch, as well as jewelry that we wear, which is snake-themed. Snake. Yep. So for this nail, we want you to create two snakes intertwining but one has to be green and one has to be red, representing the Pakistani and Albanian flag, which is our ethnicity. So yes. it's gonna symbolize us a little bit, but we hope you love the nail and I can't wait to see it. Can't wait out. to see it. Wow, snakes. okay, cool. Inter intertwined snakes. Yeah. Damn, how about that, y'all? That's cute. And a reveal? And the review for nail number eight. I've already texted a lot of people that have glamorous nails on all the time, so I figured it'd be kind of a fun balance to reach out to some people who have literally never had nails on in their entire life. So I thought I would text my good friend, Taylor Holder. Taylor is an incredible musician. He's one of the nicest people that I've ever met, but he doesn't know a single thing about glamor or nails. So let's see what he comes up with. <laughs> What's up, it's Taylor. Uh, James, I want you to do a nail that has a hand coming off your nail what? with the quills on that hand. <gasps> what's, up, what's up with all the body parts? Like, what the hell? Yeah. This is the one from Taylor Holder. Oh, this is a rough one. Crazy. That's so good. <laughs> oh, God, I can't wait to see them. We're getting so close. 
All right, you guys, nine fingers are done and we only have one little finger left and I only have one person in mind who can pick the perfect nail for me, Jojo Siwa. She's an LGBTQ plus icon, dancer, superstar. I'm just literally obsessed with her. You guys have seen the video that I did with her on my channel and I thought if anybody was going to pick an outside of the box, crazy, colorful design, it had to be our queen, Jojo. All right, James, it's Jojo. I'm here in the Dancing with the Stars ballroom right now. We're manifesting that I'm still gonna be here for the season finale of Dancing with the Stars because it's gonna be on Monday night. So I want your nail to be inspired by Dancing with the Stars. We're gonna put it out there that there could be a mirror ball in our future. So I'm thinking mirror ball, maybe some like AB rhinestones. Here's how you vote for Dancing with the Stars. You text JoJo to 21523. I know it's small, but somehow something related to a mirror ball and something related to text JoJo to vote 21523. Good luck. <laughs> All for you. I mean, it, there's no way she'd not be extremely excited about that. Okay, alright, time to bake it. It is currently 1.15 in the morning. I have both my hands in my hoodie. I still have not seen the final nails. We've been at this now for 10 hours. Todd, you are a true legend, as the last name suggests. <laughs> I still have it. Oh, you guys, let's head into the studio for the final reveal. <laughs> I can't even believe this. It feels like this day was, it feels like this was never gonna come. Let's go ahead and take a look at the final results. <gasps> oh my God, what the? <gasps> oh my God, oh, okay, oh, oh wow. I'm feeling a lot of things. <gasps> oh no. This, what is this? What in God's name is this? Oh my god. Let me just use this little nose here to get this lash glue off my face. So I'm gonna go in order in which we did them, which I know looks off on camera, but it's technically here and then here. First nail was this little girly right here. And we have this really cute like cheetah print design over top of pink and purple ombre flames, which is so cute. And I know right away who this person is. Without a doubt, this is, has to be Ivani. Yeah, yep. Ivani. This, is, this is just her aesthetic through and through. She always does really cute makeup looks like this. I am not surprised at this at all. And I think it actually looks really cute. This nail, oh my God, what even is, like what is going on here? It almost gives me like latex vibes. And then there's a, oh, it's a J dangling from the nail. Okay, so this nail has to be Abby. 100%. This is this nail is definitely Abby Roberts. She gives very much the pierced aesthetic. I, this is just her. Okay, this. Chan. Oh my literal God, you have to be kidding me with that. So this is the Gryffindor house crest from of course the legendary Harry Potter. Harry Potter is one of my favorite movies of all time. And I know right away that this has to be Brent Rivera's nail. He does a Harry Potter like photo shoots all the time on his Instagram. And I know he's a huge fan. So I think he would definitely suggest this. This next nail. There is a nose on my finger with hair coming out of it. I don't, I have no idea who this, this nail could be. My gut would say something stupid. Like, I feel like Taylor Holder would come up with something like obnoxious like this. That was just BB Rexa. What? BB, <laughs> wait, what? BB gave the nose? Of all things that she could pick? Oh, Chan, this is incredible. So obviously here we have Queen Bubbles from the Powerpuff Girls. You guys, Chan, the level of detail on that is literally amazing. This nail is the me and twins. That nail's Markel. Really? Oh, I love it. It's so cute. Okay, you guys, this hand, the camo has to be Yachty. A thousand percent. The camo has to be Yachty. I have no questions about it. I actually, I love the rainbow camo. That's really cool. Next we have the LGBTQ plus flag. This has to be Nikki. She came out last year as trans. She's an absolute legend in our community. I love her more than anything in the entire world. She's so supportive. And I think that she is very prideful. Ooh, two little snaky snakes. Well, we only have three nails left. Okay, then I, I, I know who this is. So this one's gonna be the me and twins because they give that aesthetic. They always look glam. So they're giving, they're giving our Gucci snakes. And there's two of them. Okay, so this one, it has to be Taylor Holder. And, and nobody would ever come up with anything this stupid other than Taylor Holder. I know that he would do this. Oh my God, JoJo2, 21523. Chan, how did you even get that on there? Oh, first of all, marketing icon. If she is in the finale, by the time this video comes out, make sure you guys text JoJo to 21523 to make sure that you save her and send... Cut it out, cut to camera. 
And on that note, you guys, I think literally 11 hours later, that is finally my friends picking my nails all complete. Before I even end off this video, I just want to say a major, major thank you to Chan. Come on in for the last few seconds of the video. He yeah. is he is I such a trooper. No, you don't. I look a mess. We've been in this together. <laughs> thank you so much, Chan, for being in this video today. Yeah, you are literally just the absolute best of so the best. Much fun. Thank you for all your yes. hard work. And you guys, make sure you go follow Chan everywhere. Check him out. And uh, he usually does a lot more normal nails. So we'll have to see. All right, you guys. Well, before I sign off on today's video, if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below for the hours and hours and hours of work that Chan put in and the hours of work that I sat in the nail chair and for all these crazy fun designs. If you have not already, make sure you click that big red subscribe button and come join the sisterhood and also click that bell icon so you never miss an upload. If you want to follow me on my other social media accounts, they're all just James Charles. And last but not least, don't forget to check out our Sisters Apparel Black Friday sale going live at 5 p.m. PST on November 25th. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I love you and I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>